It is your girl, Lydia Caesar, AKA the sassy wife. And today, today we're going to talk about a hot topic in relationships, a topic that all the men in the world love to talk about, submission. That word, that word that all the ladies can't stand. We, we can't even hardly say it. <laughs> so what? Say what? Submission for ladies turns into say what now? Who said this now? <laughs> right? It's hard. It's hard. It's a hard subject. Let's look at what submission actually means. Dictionary definition of submission. The action or fact of accepting or yielding to a superior force or to the will or authority of another person. Now, where does this term even come from? Submission. Well, it comes from the Bible. And honestly, whether you believe in the Bible or not, this video here will be very beneficial to you regardless because the same elements can apply. You can still take the lesson. You can look at it as like a story. It may be something fictional in your mind because you're not a believer, but it still is something that makes a lot of sense. And you will see what I mean as I go along. So the text says, wives submit to your husbands. But then it goes on to also say, husbands, love your wives like Christ loves the church. Now, <laughs> so funny because the first half of this text is the text that always gets preached about, the text that gets spoken about, the text you hear about is that we are supposed to submit. But the second part of the text is really the part that to me drives the first part home. The part that makes a woman so naturally and simply be able to just submit is that husbands are to love their wives like Christ loved the church. Let's look at Christ, how Christ loved the church. The church means the body of believers, right? In the Bible, that's what the word the church means. It doesn't mean how he loved the actual building. How much did Christ love his believers? How much? He made the ultimate sacrifice, the highest sacrifice you can possibly make, and that is his very own life. Some of you men that are out here screaming submission, you better submit. But you know what you won't do? You won't even leave the side chicks alone for your wife. You won't even sacrifice going out every night after work instead of coming home to the dinner that your wife has prepared, your kids sitting at the table waiting on you, and you ain't show up because you out at the bar every night after work. You won't even make that sacrifice. You won't even sacrifice one night a week for family night. You won't even sacrifice one night a week for date night. But your wife is to submit to you. If you love your wife like Christ loved the church, the submission is a piece of cake. I'm here to tell you, a woman will gladly, easily, readily submit to a man who loves her the way he's assigned to love her. Your wife is your assignment, okay? And, and vice versa, wives, your husband is your assignment as well, okay? It's going to be impossible for your wife to submit to you, to just say yes, to just bow to your requests to not question you when you're not loving her properly, when you are not catering to her, when you are not caring for her, when you are not making sacrifices for her. And she's making sacrifices for you. She's at home, she's cooking, she's cleaning, she's caring for your children. Okay, yes, you go to work and you make money and you bring home the bacon, cool. She probably brings home some money too. She probably helps with the bills as well, it's 2020, let's keep it real. Or who knows? Who knows, she may even make more money than you. We're in the day and age where some women, you know, we have the, we're in the age of the boss woman. She may make just as much money as you or more. Who knows what the dynamic is in your household. But at the end of the day, if you as the head, the man, the leader of the house, right? If you want a wife who's going to be a co-captain that is going to trust you enough 
to say, okay, you know what? We can have these conversations, we can have these discussions, we can talk at, talk it out, and at the end of the day, the ultimate decision is up to you. If you want the kind of woman who is going to be able to trust you enough to leave the final choices in your hand, you have to bring that non-self-serving love to the table. It can't be all about you and your feelings and what you want and doing what you want to do. You can't just run around in the streets doing what the heck you want to do and expect to come home to a submissive woman. Husbands, love your wives like Christ loved the church. Wives, submit to your husbands. When a man loves you to that level, to that degree, it is almost easy to really listen to what he's gonna say. And you know why? Because what he wants from you is going to be what's best for you. I'm let that marinate. What he wants you to do is gonna be what's best for you, what's best for him, what's best for the family, what's best for the children, everybody as a whole. Because he loves you like Christ loved the church. He will die for you. So submission is gonna come natural. It's gonna be a natural occurrence. And this is something that we don't often talk about. You know, men just wanna say, and not all men, but in the, when it comes to this conversation, a lot of times it's led with women need to be submissive and you t you know women want to do things on their own too much and you women want to be independent and you need to let a man lead. Most women are not going to just let a, ma let a man blindly, she's not going to blindly let a man lead her. She wants to see and know that he is selfless and that he will make sacrifices and that he wants what's best for her and not just what's best for himself. You can't expect a woman to submit to you and you cheating on her. You can't expect a woman to submit naturally and you knocking her upside the head. You want her to submit so bad, you're pushing her on the ground. You're grabbing her by the wrist. You're choking her out. You ain't got enough self-control. You're just mad. She won't submit. Okay, that's not the way. Once we mature as women and as men, the, the, the harmony will fall into place. The submission will make sense. It'll be easy. And this is coming from, look, this is coming from me, Lydia Caesar. I am a Leo. I am a alpha female. I really am, okay? When it comes to like a woman who, who naturally leads, who naturally takes the reins on things in life, that's me. That's who I always have been since I was a little girl. It's naturally ingrained in me. Not all women are like this. You have some women who are more passive and who are just naturally more timid and, and mild-mannered, and that's totally fine too. We are who we are. But this message right now is coming from a woman who is an alpha female, strong-willed, strong-minded, and even I believe in submitting to your spouse. I believe in the importance of that, and every day I get better at it because also, every day my husband is growing and learning, and he is showing me that he got me. So yeah, next time you rush to tell your woman to submit to you, ask yourself, am I loving her the ultimate level of love? The most sacrificial love. Is that what I'm showing and displaying to her? Because if I'm not, I have no right to ask her to submit to me. And there you have it. Let me know what you think about this video. Let me know what you think about submission. Ladies, even with this message, do you have a problem with submitting? Do you think it's still bogus? Um, I know a lot of women still do, and I know some women definitely don't. So let me know. If, if you're a woman who's all about submitting, if your husband loves you the right way, tell me why. And if you don't think that submission is necessary, tell me why. You know, let's talk about this. Let's, uh, let's share our different perspectives because I also think that it's important. It's important to not just be one track minded to see what else is going on out there so that we can be informed and well rounded as human beings and as lovers and as wives and as husbands. So yeah, my name is Lydia Caesar, the sassy wife, and you are to go.